Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the I-4 Truck Parking Public Meeting. My name is Megan Owens, and I'm the Project Manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain plans for a new truck parking facility in Seminole County and receive your input. There are many ways to provide feedback. The project team will respond to your questions and comments in writing, and all written comments will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. For those listening to the meeting over the phone, the presentation is available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 446-445-1. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrows point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box, then click Send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrow points to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public meeting. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this meeting, please type the issue in the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar or send an email to Carolyn Fitzwilliam at carolyn dot fitzwilliam at dot state dot fl dot us. You may also call 386-943-5215. Staff will do their best to assist you. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, DeLand, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5077, or by email at M-E-L-I-S-S-A dot M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y at D-O-T dot S-T-A-T-E dot F-L dot U-S. You may also contact Stephen Kolakowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399 by phone at 850-414-4742 or by email at stefan.kulakowski at d-o-t dot s-t-a-t-e dot f-l dot u-s. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project is the first being undertaken by District 5 to address the high demand for safe truck parking along the I-4 corridor. Previous District 5 studies identified a current Central Florida demand of 750 truck parking spaces. 39 spaces are currently available in Longwood, Florida. The ability to provide truck parking at the Longwood rust areas has been significantly impacted by population growth, development, and the I-4 Ultimate Roadway Capacity Project. Due to economic growth and the resulting increase in the demand for the delivery of goods, the need for safe parking facilities along our interstates has become a critical issue for all drivers and our I-4 communities. 
Rest area overutilization creates carbon emitting hotspots and localized noise and light pollution. Working with local Longwood and Lake Mary communities, the district understands the impact that the overcrowding of the Longwood rest areas has had. Therefore, the goals of this project include improving safety along the I-4 corridor and minimizing adverse impacts to local communities. This project is the first step in the process to eliminate the Longwood rest areas. Previous studies evaluated over 77,000 parcels, out of which only five parcels were recommended for truck parking facilities. The five recommended sites include one in Osceola, Orange, and Seminole counties. Two sites are recommended in Volusia County. Site selection criteria included proximity to I-4 and freight facilities, locations of unauthorized parking hotspots, locations of overutilized existing parking facilities, and adjacent site land uses. The Seminole County site is located adjacent to US 1792 Monroe Road and I-4. The site will be readily accessible from I-4 and is near the Longwood rest areas. Most of the subject property is currently zoned plan development with adjacent zoning primarily consisting of plan development, commercial, or industrial. The Seminole County Future Land Use Map designates the surrounding properties as high-intensity planned target industries and industrial. Trucks will have the option of utilizing Exit 101 and State Road 46 or Exit 104 and US 1792 to access the facility. The future I-4 beyond the ultimate project will provide access via the reconstructed US 1792 ramps. The truck parking facility will have one entrance located on School Street west of US 1792. Truck traffic exiting the facility will be directed back to I-4 via US 1792 and State Road 46 with the aid of regulatory signage and a concrete median in School Street preventing right turns onto School Street. School Street will be reconstructed between the entrance and US 1792 to interstate pavement standards. The road will be widened from 15 feet to 34 feet. An 8-foot sidewalk will be constructed along the north side of School Street. The site will be designated as a truck parking facility with the capacity to accommodate 132 trucks. The peak hour traffic is estimated to be 70 trucks. The site area will be approximately 17.3 acres with approximately 4 acres allocated for open space and stormwater management. The stormwater management system will treat and attenuate the runoff from the new facility and School Street impervious areas. The parking facility will be screened from Orange Boulevard using a heavily landscaped berm. Additional landscaping will be provided on site and along US 1792. The plant palette will include native and Florida friendly drought tolerant materials. The berm along Orange Boulevard will incorporate evergreen plants, including southern red cedar, live oak, and yapon holly. The site security components will include a perimeter fence, lighting, CCTV, and nighttime security staff. Light fixtures will have cut-off shields to prevent light spillages onto adjacent properties. Site amenities will include connectivity to the truck parking availability system, or TPASS, Dynamic message signs with facility available parking will be installed along I-4. Infrastructure for future installation of level 3 truck charging stations and shore power hookups will be included. EV charging and shore power hookups will help reduce carbon emissions and noise pollution. Parking will be set aside for mobile truck repair services. The restroom building will be centrally located on the site. Located north of the main building will be a future power yard for EV and shore power, emergency generator, maintenance building, and an enclosed pet area. Picnic pavilions will be located south of the main building. Benches will be located around the building and in the pet area. Ash, waste, and recycling receptacles will be located throughout the site. The comfort building will be approximately 5,000 square feet. The breezeway will be equipped with video monitors for real-time traffic and travel information provided by the Regional Transportation Management Center. The comfort and maintenance buildings will be constructed of durable, sustainable materials to reduce maintenance costs. 
The project will also pursue LEED certification for energy efficiency and cost-saving green buildings. The sustainable features, site location, site amenities, and facility capacity will be a significant step in addressing the truck parking shortage along the I-4 corridor. Right-of-way acquisition is scheduled to be completed in the fall of 2025. The project is currently in design, with design completion scheduled for early 2026 and construction beginning in the summer of 2026. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by February 5, 2024, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. To submit a comment or question online, please type the comment or question in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 446-445-1. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Megan Owens directly by email at megan.owens at dot.state. Fl .us, or by U.S. Mail at the Florida Department of Transportation located at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, DeLand, Florida 32720. You may also call Ms. Owens at 386-943-5140 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, go to www.cflroads.com. Type the project number 446-445-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by February 5, 2024. We hope you have a great evening.